Hey everyone, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we're going to take a look at the Waves version 12, an update from version 11 and whether it's worth the upgrade. Now one quick thing about the Waves update plan, if you don't know much about it, WUP, Waves update plan, if you've got a plugin or a bundle that is less than one year old, you can update to the newest version, the latest version, version 12, for free. It's included. If you've got a plugin or bundles or multiple plugins that are more than one year old, you've got to purchase the Waves update plan renewal to get version 12. That renewal price varies depending on the plugin you have, how many plugins you have, but it is capped at $240 per year for the upgrade. If you got a bunch of plugins from Waves like I do, it would be, if I had to renew them all, it would be $240. So the new things in version 12 are basically four things. First, you can resize the plugins. Using this little box right here, right next to the Waves control bar, I can change the interface size from its standard 100%. I can go smaller to 75%, all the way up to 200%. And we're gonna leave it there for a second as we talk about the next item. The second item, Retina Ready Graphics. And this is the big problem for me with this. Waves advertises this update to version 12 as an upgrade in the graphics to make them retina ready. So Mac high-res display ready, even Windows high-res display ready. Sharper graphics, they claim. Here's the problem. The graphics aren't really any sharper. I compared some of the old V11 plugins that I have, that I have to some of the V12 plugins. They're not any sharper. Some things about them are sharper. For example, any numerical layouts here, like you can see right down here, that number, that's sharper than in the old version. The readings on top of the graph here, you can see the Hertz real-time analysis readings up there. They're sharper, they look clear, but everything else looks the same, just blown up. These words are still blurry. The control knob numbers on the outside are still blurry. So most of the things that are going on here are not very clear, especially when you blow them up. Now, if I go over to Waze promo video and I pause the video on YouTube at this screen that shows Retina Ready Graphics, this is F6. It's sort of false advertising. If you look at this zoomed up version of our equalizer, and then you look back at my zoomed up version of the equalizer, I've got pixelated fuzzy graphics. These are very clear. Look specifically down here at the mix and out controls at the bottom of the screen. Then look at these on the actual plugin itself when blown up. And this doesn't seem to be a system specific error. It's not because I'm on Mac and this is happening. This seems to be across the board. Many people are complaining about it. So it doesn't look like high res graphics at all. If I get rid of F6, and I go to a different plugin that has a lot more controls in it. For example, I'll go to the Sheps Omni channel. Really popular plugin. Here's the standard view. It's got a lot of controls that are tiny. So if I want to blow that up, I say go to 150%. Okay, it looks okay, but it's pretty blurry. If you look at the ratio, attack, and release, I can use it. It looks okay, but it's not high-res graphics. And I'll show you what they really look like when you do them the right way in just a minute. It's a blown up version of these same graphics we had in the smaller version. Great that we can resize it, but definitely not Retina. Retina Ready maybe is some gimmicky marketing, but it's not a Retina graphic. The next new item we have is the preset browser. So if we go into the load preset here, I can open the preset browser. It opens a separate window, which is a little bit unique and shows all the presets we have, but now we can search for presets, which is pretty cool. And finally, three plugins were added to three different bundles. So if you've got the Platinum, Horizon, or Diamond bundles, Low Air, Smack Attack, and Submarine were added to those bundles, three existing Waves plugins. I've got the Mercury bundle, it's in those already, so nothing new here for me. Now, to just give you a quick overview of what really updated Retina graphics should have looked like, I've got on the top here, two versions of the T-Rex, EQP1A Pultec clone from IK Multimedia. This is the older version T-Rex on the left and the newer T-Rex 5 update on the right. So in the older version, you've got kind of blurry graphics, especially around the knobs. There's no resizable interface and just kind of old and outdated looking. They updated it with V5 over on the right. Clearly much clearer graphics around the knobs, clearer knobs in general. Everything looks nice and high definition on the Mac Retina display. It is drag resizable. So any size you want, not specific sizes, I could go gigantic if I wanted to. And you'll notice when I blow it up to this gigantic size, I still retain that nice high res look. The knobs look great. The numbers look great. It's not blurry at all. Go back to its standard size. On the other hand, I've got the Waves Pull Tech down here, the Puig Tech EQP1A. And it's a little bit blurrier on the sides, but if I wanted to blow it up to full size, as large as it goes, 200%, you can see just how it's the same exact sort of low res version just blown up. 
So as a person who was excited about having high-res graphics on all these Waves plugins, I was a little bit disappointed to see this. I know it's all about the audio, but sometimes having inspiring looks to the plugins can inspire good results, even when the audio is the same. So given that you're only able to resize the plugins, if you own the Mercury bundle, you're not really getting anything new. The preset browser is kind of cool, but doesn't do a whole lot for me. And the fact that these Retina graphics aren't really Retina ready, I'd have to say, if you're going to pay for this upgrade, it is almost definitely not worth it, unless you're talking about a compatibility issue. If these plugins work for you right now, and if you can work with them being kind of small and blurry, and you don't mind the way they are now, do not upgrade. You're just going to get a bigger blurry plugin, and that Retina graphic is not there yet. Hopefully that'll come with the version 13 release sometime. So in my humble opinion, this upgrade, version 12, if you're paying a lot for it, is not worth it if you've got a stable Waves install right now. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.